Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Freddy Lundberg to review. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, medium, medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. Uh, guys, with the medium, medium work rate, believe it or not, sometimes, you know, when you're using these guys in the side positions, they still defend quite nicely. You know, it's not really that big of a deal when they don't have the high defensive work rate. A high defensive work rate is always really nice. Like, I love Dio Jota because of that reason. But a lot of the times, they actually still defend quite nicely in those side areas. So we'll see if that's going to be the case with uh, Jungberg, Jungberg in game. Player traits, he has speed dribbler. He has outside foot shot trait, which obviously can be very helpful to work with. This card in game, guys, is going to be lacking in shot power, which is a little bit of a downfall of the card. Because with this card in game, I do feel like the engine is going to make the most obvious choice when it comes to the chemistry style that you give him. Why? Because when you give him the engine chemistry style, uh, he is going to be uh, a controlled player. Technically, you can give him a finisher chemistry style and make him explosive. But the difference between explosive and controlled, they're not like too far off of each other. You know, like they're not too far off. Controlled players actually end up being really, really nice in the attacking positions. Again, it's usually the two that I like the most. Um, but yeah, uh, in his case, you're going to have to give the engine, I think, because giving him the pace boost, passing boost and dribbling boost for a better general experience, I feel like is going to be more ideal because the card is five foot nine with a lean body type. So kind of making his dribbling stats as nice as possible is definitely going to be going to be really nice. So you're probably just going to have to work with a shot power at an 83 from time to time. Uh, and basically just go from there, right? So uh, base card stats for shooting is going to be in a decent area. Shot power is low for certain strikes. For certain strikes, it's definitely low, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, when it comes to passing capabilities on the card, he's going to be improved with the engine chemistry style. So a card like this, I do mainly see being used in the side positions, right? So because of his strong foot being right footed, I think strong foot on the strong side on the right side is going to be the most ideal position for him. Uh, when it comes to dribbling, we're going to be experimenting with that in game because of the lean body type that the card has. And then for physical capabilities, the card actually has some pretty decent ones as well. Some people might just give him the Hawk chemistry style, but you guys know me. I want players to feel as responsive as possible with the left stick because the pressure tactics are still super annoying regardless of the stamina drain, right? So um, yeah, we're going to be trying this card out again, mostly on the engine. The instruction that we are going to be using on the card will be as so. So it'll be 4-2-3-1, playing in the RAM position, get into the box for the cross, all of that good stuff, right? So, uh, yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he is a beast. Ooh, Jürgenberg on the defense. I try to get the skill move off there, because if I could, I could get the attacking AI run afterwards. Oh, I don't get that one, though. I don't get that one. Oh, no. Oh, Holland just being Holland. Look at the ball, though. Let's go. Good so far. Possession one. Papa. He's got the right idea with that pass. Ooh. Imagine if I got the law pass there. That would I mean the, the chip shot there. That would have been dope. Let's go, Lienberg. Let's go. Great chip shot. That whole build-up play was fantastic. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go, boys. 
guy here. Hmm. I work with the pressure a little bit sometimes. Good goal, boys. Good goal. Amazing. I never I'm never aiming downwards, but the game pushes me downwards. Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do with Jungberg. Oh my goodness. I try to my controller is not showing. I just I just noticed that. I'm trying to do the croquetta there, but it doesn't register sometimes, so movement good movement that's why like i'm telling you guys like when they're left footed and they have that high high it's super super nice in the side positions nice Jungberg. nice Jungberg. tremendous vision Ooh, nice try, Jönberg. Nice try. The shot wasn't bad at all. I mean, it would be nice if they could just control it, but... Interceptions is an interception. Oh, I should have just shot it, but... I don't know, I thought he was going to push his goalkeeper a little bit there. Beautiful, boys. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. There we go. Well, our reviewing cards, 18 and 2. 18 and 2. One guy I lost to was... An ISO play loser that did the same thing over and over again that just went to penalty shootouts, beat me there. And then the second guy that beat me was beating me 2-0 off of two horrible goals in the beginning. I got pissed, he left the game, matched him again in the second game, beat him 3-0 within 20 minutes. So 20 0 in my books. Playoffs. Stewart, what are you expecting to see? Well, this is such a vital game, Derek. Both teams will be desperate to start with a win. Let's hope we see some great oh. today. Got the initial interception though. Nice, Jönberg. Well done again. Oh, he should have gotten a touch there. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, Jürgenberg has been, uh, he's actually been pretty, pretty decent for me. Like, I don't mind him so much. Like, he's, um, in previous years, he, he used to feel a little bit more generic. Uh, in this year's game, this version of the card actually feels nice. Nice. Let's go, Jürgenberg. Oh, too close. Ah, uh, you know how Virgil's gonna be. That guy's a beast. Oh my god, because of the pressure on the ball there. Nice. Good finish, Lindbergh. Yeah, like I've said, uh, this card, he 
feels significantly better than um, previous years. I, like, this version of his car is really nice. Nice try, Lindbergh. Oh, run though, Lundberg. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Freddy Lundberg card. So, uh, guys, in my opinion, this is probably my favorite version of using Lundberg in general in FIFA. Um, honestly, he performed really nicely. I actually enjoyed using this card quite a bit. Uh, you know, when you give him the engine chemistry style, you turn him into a controlled player, which is perfectly fine. I didn't really feel the need to give him like a finisher and turn him into an explosive. I feel like controlled is perfectly fine for him uh, on the engine chemistry style because you give him the pace boost. His passing ends up being really nice. And then his dribbling is also pretty decent in game. And the reason being for this is obviously because of the lean body type. Now, you may have caught me, maybe potentially, because this happens. It's a force of habit when it comes to the medium, medium work rate of cards. I may have said that he has a high high because medium, medium in this year's game for certain cards, I would say a very good majority of them, they sometimes perform like they're high, high work rate of cards. Now, I do feel like a high, high is definitely a little bit better. You definitely notice it with a player like Diogo Jota and stuff. Um, but medium, medium is perfectly fine to work with if you're using these cards in the side positions. I do feel like EA have done uh, a better job with that, which I will be mentioning in the QL review as well. Um, yeah, the shot power at an 83... It'll bother you for some finishes, but because his finishing is in a decent area, you're going to go for high percentage strikes anyway. So it's not that big of a deal to work with. Like 83 is not a terrible cutoff, you know? Obviously, it being higher for certain strikes when you're under pressure would definitely be very, very nice for consistency, but I still felt like it was fine. The dribbling on the card when you time like your L trigger shields, when you're timing the left stick and stuff to kind of open up the space, that came off perfectly fine too. Um... Yeah, I didn't really find that many noticeable things that I didn't like about the card for the meta of the game, right? Like, it's just one of those types of things where, like I said, for this year's version of FIFA, the medium medium work rate uh, has been changed, right? Because you can definitely notice it being way better this year. Like, if you gave me a Riyad Mahrez for this year's game, it probably wouldn't feel as generic, right? Like, if you were to use a card like this in the side positions, I don't think there would be a problem whatsoever. Now, I do think... As usual, you know, strong foot on the strong side as much as possible. It's always going to be super ideal for the most part because most of your shots end up being a cross goal or you just do a one one time uh, dribble, then shot across goal as well. It's just kind of how most of the buildup kind of happens in this game, right? So, um, yeah, I think EA did a really good job with this card, just generally speaking. Uh, he's very versatile in the sense of being able to use him in different attacking positions, right? Left wing, right mid, uh, left mid is definitely very helpful because the formation that... I see people using a lot right now to kind of start off with is usually like the uh, 4 one 4 one and stuff, right? Uh, because of the left mid, right mid, center mid, CDMs, right? Uh, which is, you know, when it comes to the formations, uh, super cool to have. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's a card that doesn't cost too much that performs pretty well in game. I didn't mind using him whatsoever in my foot champs games. Um, obviously, like I said, because of the medium, medium work rate change, I feel like that's going to be like a really big thing Um that has been improved massively. Uh, if we take a look at the Premier League here and we go to players, I would say that generally play in, the, in these positions, right? Um, I mean, to be fair, there's going to be a lot of options for sure. Uh, Joe Cole. Actually, there's not as many as I thought. He's just a different type of car, though. Like, and, and he gives you those Swedish links to you like, in the future. Maybe they drop an Ibrahimovic card or something. You know, I don't know, bro. I don't know. The Swedish links could be something that's uh, interesting, though. Maybe if they drop like a Lindelof card too, that would be a huge triple link setup to work with as well, right? So, a couple of a uh, couple of interesting variables for sure. But um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite version of his card. Most enjoyable that I've experienced with him for sure. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.